Okay, guys. So uh, let's start. We are already eleven six. So uh, without further ado, uh, my name is Sunny Gay. Uh, so for today, we are going to present uh, the most uh, you know important question of Veeam, which is Veeam on AWS. So uh, what exactly is VCSP? Uh, we are going to talk about this today and how we can implement this scenario, implement the solution on public cloud platforms such as AWS. So today we are going to talk about specifically the VCSP part of Veeam, uh, how we can leverage this solution. And this, this webinar is totally designed for the partners who wants to sell backup or DR as a service in their environment running on public cloud platform. So uh, the agenda, as far as the agenda of today's goes, um, first we'll speak about the market trends. Uh, where are the opportunities for uh, for a managed service providers? Then the challenges which uh, a managed service provider gets. Uh, then we'll talk about what exactly VCSP is. What all services are being provided by? VCSP platform. So if I say VCSP, it's Veeam Cloud Service Provider. Most of the partners are not aware of this services and you know they, they don't know how to utilize this service because uh, there are lots of misconceptions in the market. You know, uh, you you need an infrastructure, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So we'll try to uh, you know address those issues, how you can uh, you know, without investing upfront, how you can utilize those services because in today's world, there are lots of, you know, past models which are available, which you can leverage to to utilize those services. Then we have something specific for uh, AWS, uh, which is a costing kind of bundle wherein we have created a bundle so that you guys can understand uh, when it comes to cost, how it can be, you know, um, how it can be prevented against over costing and all. Then we have some specific promo for VCSP on Veeam. Uh, then the rental licensing and usage reporting, how you can, um, you know, see your rental usage, how you can create license files, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then last but not the least, the VCSP Pulse. Uh, which is a very good tool introduced by Veeam uh, to manage your rental usage and all. Uh, that also will have a small demo, then a live demo of the product, how the product behaves, how the product runs, what all features you see in um, in the Veeam service cloud, uh, in the Veeam service provider console, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then we'll end the session with the question and answer. So. Guys, once again, uh, this session would be a very interactive session. So I would say you come up with your questions because this session is being designed for a partners who wants to, uh, you know, utilize VCSP on public cloud platforms. So we'll tell you today how, in terms of costing, how you can use the entire Veeam portfolio uh, on the public cloud platform. So let's begin today. Paul. Why VCSP? What exactly it is? Why do we need it, right? So being a partner, right? So you partners are always getting some, you know, requirement wherein you need to address customers' requirements. So what can be customer requirements in today's world? If you see, if if I'm talking about the customer, what customer needs? What are their pain points that they wanted to see? Uh, they wanted to utilize services of an infrastructure in a better way. So they want to use their resources in business activities, business generating activities. So therein, uh, you guys can come into the picture and you guys, you being a managed service provider, you provide your services wherein you provide uh, manage services which are related with infrastructure wherein you need to manage their entire infrastructure. So in today's world, if you see the main for an organization is to manage their data, right? The authenticity of the data which is being generated by their data centers and all. So that data becomes an topmost priority for 
each and every organization to keep up to keep that data in a protected environment right so for an organization managed service provider who takes a full responsibility of protecting the data 100% makes a good choice for an end customer right so if you see in today's world availability becomes very very important important right so what does availability means that customer needs a solution wherein the customer uh, involvement is very minimal and he would be able to get the services the sls which he is looking for what does it mean that being a managed service provider using veeam services you should be able to give backup as a service and dr as a service according to the sls which you have signed with your end customers and if you know about veeam veeam is a very good tool it's very simple easy to install easy to configure easy to manage so with veeam veeam is already there in the market they are doing very good in virtualization veeam is number 1 right now specific to cloud we also do cloud backups and all this this works very well but when it comes to managed service providers who host their environment who sells backup as a service how does veeam helps you how does veeam gives you uh, you know better visibility so if you see couple of points which are mentioned here these are the pain points of an organization which needs to be addressed so you being a managed service provider using veeam cloud services how you can do it right so let's see if we talk about just numbers what exactly when it comes to the market shares what exactly backup as a service and dr as a service uh, does so if you see store data remotely for dr if you go to a customer uh, especially in today's world their prime requirement everybody says that they want to build a dr right now to build a dr for an organization it is a cost right so what exactly dr is dr is an exact image of your data center which has to be placed somewhere else in the dr location now when this is the requirement right so in that requirement how you as a managed service provider can address this requirement you can tell dr as a service running on veeam platform so if i i'm sure most of the partners who are joined in today are already selling veeam services right they are already aware of the product portfolio of veeam wherein veeam backup and replication provides replication hypervisor to hypervisor so here in this scenario when a customer asks for a dr scenario so you can host it in your environment and you can provide dr as a services wherein you get the same functionality of failover and failback which you get in the on premise solution of veeam backup and replication same similarly if you talk about um, you know uh, in today's organization they always wanted a solution which is cost effective right what does it mean cost becomes a major factor in today's world nobody wants to nobody wants to you know invest upfront in a solution either they want a a kind of managed service provider wherein you know they'll pay you either monthly quarterly or whatever payment terms you you guys choose up with them and along with it they also wanted that their it staff should not be involved in day to day activities of managing the data when it comes to backup or a dr um, scenario you need to test your backup and dr every then and now wherein you know if you follow this strategy your it staff is keep getting doing all those things which may not be you know useful for them as a organization but it is a mandatory activity so for an organization being a managed service provider you can also push your services to an end customer wherein you can showcase them that in on behalf of them you are being a vcsp partner you are managing the entire backup and dr services now the most important part is end customer don't have to provision anything on their premise everything is 
being taken care by managed service provider in their data center right so they don't don't have to provision the backup server they don't have to provision the backup storage they don't have to provision the dr resources everything is being taken care by a uh, managed service provider which is you you as a partner then how easy it is to showcase the visibility of the backup and the dr environment to an end customer for us for for we as a we we will give you those tools with the help of which you can showcase it to an end customer that when it comes to backup uh, how much backup is done with the help of reporting tools how the dr is behaving so with the help of all those reporting tools you can showcase it to an end customer uh, the management of the managed service infrastructure of the protected data and obviously last but not the least the slas you will always meet the slas using veeam best practices uh, for an end customer so if you see in today's world the market trend 75% of the customers are already using backup as a service right so these are couple of points why you need to go on to an vcsp based scenario wherein you need to sell backup as a service dr as a service so if we talk about in today's world 62% of the cloud infrastructure um, are being managed by service providers right wherein those service providers are providing managed services to the end customers whether it's a backup of data whether it's an infrastructure uh, you know assessment whether it's an infrastructure management security tool everything so if we talk about today's addressable market from the point of view of veeam we as a veeam already have 24000 vcsp partners worldwide 65000 plus veeam resellers who are already selling veeam products veeam is not new in the market they are here since ages they are doing very good when it comes to backup replication you know the reporting and all and we have almost 365000 plus veeam customers who are using veeam products right so these 365000 plus veeam customers are your potential you know customers who can utilize cloud services when i say cloud services maybe they have a requirement of backup as a service or dr as a service so we'll address this in detail in our coming slide now what exactly vcsp is so if i say in very simple word veeam cloud service provider as the name suggest vcsp veeam cloud service provider what it does it provides two type of services backup as a service dr as a service okay now the question may come up does veeam had their own cloud means does veeam provide the cloud services so we as a veeam we are a purely software based company right so we always encourage our partners to provide those services so what we do we enable our partners to have this vcsp infrastructure running in their environment and once this infrastructure is ready in their environment they can sell backup as a service tr as a service from their environment to their end customers now again the question may come up uh, means to enable vcsp we need to upfront you know uh, provision a data center which is a cost to a partner right so how we can mitigate that issue so first of all if we talk about vcsp in a broader way vcsp comprises of two components one is the veeam cloud connect second one is the veeam backup replication software okay so if i if the partners who are already selling veeam services they are already aware of the veeam backup replication console veeam backup replication console is the main console which does backup and replication of the infrastructure now this is for an on premise customer but what but what when it comes to a service provider customer so in service provider customer we have additional tool called veeam cloud connect that veeam cloud connect is the tool which um, configures your 
backup and dr as a services for different different tenants so in my demo i'll explain you how it can be done so i am here just giving you a brief overview of what vcsp is now uh, to install veeam backup and replication and veeam cloud connect right you need to sell these services to your end customers being a managed service provider so to install these components you need to have a platform ready and that platform requires your compute requires your resources right which uh, which is your compute ram backup storage now for you as a managed service provider you need to create a whole data center to build your sla accordingly if you see that in today's world there are lots of public cloud vendors who are available who are providing compute and the resources associated with it on a very minimal amount so today we'll discuss about the aws platform how on aws platform we can enable those vcsp components and sell those services to your end customers so in public cloud platform specifically on aws how we can create vcsp infrastructure this is what we are going to talk about today okay and also if you want to do a dr as a service on public cloud platform that also can be done right so how it is possible let's talk about it so if i talk about specifically from managed service provider point of view uh, the challenges for you you are a managed service provider and you want to sell vcsp services so if i see you as a managed service provider what are your challenges for you the first and prime most challenge would be the connectivity right how you can connect your end customer and manage their infrastructure and manage their data center manage their backup infrastructure for you either you need to do a side to side connectivity a side to side vpn connectivity or some other kind of npls connectivity because when we talk about the backup and dr connectivity becomes a very important factor right because everything is coming on to your centralized data center second part is the infrastructure right you need to provision the infrastructure means you need to provision the entire vbr infrastructure veeam backup replication infrastructure you need to browse the customer infrastructure also when you want to take a backup or a dr for you it becomes a challenge right uh, there are lots of policies there are lots of restriction in customer environments which you may not aware of and for you it becomes a headache to troubleshoot all those things now the third part is discovering and managing those components which are there in end customer end customer data center is huge maybe you are running some applications on windows platform you are running some applications on linux platform you are running some applications i don't know on uh, oracle sap so for you to manage everything from one simple and single console becomes a challenge right Uh, then the important part very important part is billing how you will bill all those things together because for you when you are selling your services you, you, some some cost is associated with it right and in today's world what it means everybody wants to earn some money so how you will make sure that when it comes to billing you are on right track how what exactly is your cost as a managed service provider and what you are selling it to an end customer so billing plays a very very important part right because billing is associated with the cost wherein you are earning your margin then the last part is security how secure this infrastructure is right so in today's world everybody is talking about ransomware attacks you know uh, some data is encrypted here and there so how you can safeguard your um, uh, managed service provider infrastructure as well as customers data so security also becomes a very important factor so these are the five factors the five challenges which you as a service provider faces when you are selling services how we address this how do we do this for us we provide you certain tools with the help of which 
you can address all those five issues together without paying any cost to Veeam. Once again, I'm repeating this. You can address all those five issues without paying any cost to Veeam. It's free of cost to you. So how does Veeam does this? Veeam had created one tool called Veeam Service Provider Console. This is a web-based tool, uh, works with the SQL DB. This tool provides you a role-based access management to monitor, manage, and configure customer infrastructure, okay? Let me repeat this once again. If you can see in the diagram, in the left hand side, you see there is a customer environment, right? That customer environment can comprise of the virtual servers. It can have physical servers. It can have workstation, right? These are the three workloads may be running on customer environment, which you are not aware of now. You don't know how many virtual servers are there. You don't know how many physical. You don't know how many workstations. You want to manage all those three workloads from one centralized console, right? So for you to manage all these three workloads from one centralized console, we as a Veeam will give you one tool, which is called Service Provider Console, which is a web-based tool wherein you configure those customers as a tenant inside it right now the first challenge you are facing is the connectivity how your customer environment is connected with your service provider console service provider console is running in your environment right it's a free tool so first challenge is the connectivity hey guys so here is a solution for you if you are using service provider console veeam will give you a pre-configured url with the help of which Veeam Service Provider Console will create an SSL VPN tunnel on WAN link with the customer environment on one port number where with the help of which connectivity is being established. What advantage does end customer get? End customer does not have to provision any VPN connectivity, any MPLS connectivity. What advantage you as a service provider get? You don't have to provide any VPN, any firewall connectivity, any VPN connectivity. Everything is being taken care by Veeam Service Provider Console because it's an SSL VPN tunnel. It works on certificates, right? So your first challenge is being resolved, connectivity. You don't have to pay even a single dollar to Veeam or to us. Everything is being taken care by Veeam Service Provider Console. Second is uh, the remote discovery and the management. In my demo, I'll show you once the connectivity is established, how you can uh, browse or discover the customer infrastructure, how you can create a tenant, and how you can create a billing template associated with it, right? So once the connectivity is established, you need to start either taking a backup or creating a DR plans, right? how you can do it so using the same service provider console you can do it without paying any single dollar to veeam the third part is how you can showcase it to a end customer that you are doing a backup it means the reporting part you can create a separate uh, console or a self-service portal for a specific end customer wherein he can see manage his entire backup or DR infrastructure. Means with the same tool, the same URL, you can give it to an end customer and he can see what is happening in his environment. He wants to see whether the backup is happening or not, right? So how you will show him? Either you will provide him a report or you just give him an access of a client portal. With what? With, with one single console called Veeam Service Provider Console. Once again, free of cost, no charge, nothing has to be paid. It's all free for only Veeam service providers, right? Normal reseller don't have access to it. The guy who wants to sell uh, Veeam cloud services, only those guys have access to it free of cost, right? 
make sense when we say free you know it it it, it kinds of you know uh, tells you something that why veeam is giving all this thing free right now this free veeam service provider will give you simplified setup remote monitoring and management integration and automation with certain tools aggregate usage reported and billing and it's a multi tenant tool you may have 100 customers at you know certain point of time how you can make uh, those 100 customers onboarded to your service provider console i will show you in my demo so this tool is 100% scalable this tool is 100% uh, you know multi tenant i'll show you in my demo how it works now let's talk about the cost okay to install those veeam service uh, provider console veeam backup replication and veeam cloud connect you need a platform okay and when we say you need a platform you need resources hardware resources it has to be placed somewhere now you as a managed service provider you don't want to uh, invest in building a data center right now what you can do you can choose an aws platform and in aws platform we have come up with some kind of calculation to understand uh, to to tell you that this may be your cost okay now how the cost has been defined here if you see uh, if you see uh, the first part uh, which says okay for, uh, remove the first line item see the partner cost in the second line item if you see vbr plus vm commit it says 10.67 dollar i'll explain you what exactly this cost is so in layman language if i say if you want to back up one virtual machine in vcsp you are paying 10.67 dollar per month to a veeam right if you want to use veeam backup replication enterprise plus so in that to back up either one physical server or one virtual machine this is your cost as a partner per month okay this is the cost of license of veeam then the second part is the platform in aws if you choose one ec2 instance with two virtual cpu and 8 tb ram plus 1 tb of ebs volume with windows license your cost is 223.14 dollar per month right so this a entire thing is your veeam backup replication plus veeam cloud connect plus veeam service provider console means you have installed three components on one server on one ec2 instance with 1 tb of space right then you have 11.59 dollar per month for per 100 gb per month of bandwidth means you can recover 100 gb of data per month right so if we talk about the total cost okay for a uh, veeam service provider on aws platform for one month is 245.40 dollar right now if you see this cost the 223 dollar and 11.59 dollar this cost can be shared right now this is your cost to one customer right this platform is not restricted to one customer you are going to utilize this platform for multiple customers right so right now you will start with customer number 1 later you will have customer 2 customer 3 customer 4 customer 5 this entire infrastructure is absolutely scalable you can add ebs volumes with it you can add cpu with it as per your requirement as per your consumption and all but when it comes to uh, giving you a cost to back up one vm your cost from veeam perspective is only 10.67 dollar per month right and your annual cost for one year is 2944.7 dollar which includes one aws ec2 instance plus the backup of one virtual machine on veeam cloud service provider platform right so 
if you see when it comes to cost upfront you are not paying anything this entire cost is pay as you go if you are consuming it you are paying it if you are not consuming it you are not paying it right so if you say man i want to uh, you know onboard on to vcsp on this aws platform so we have certain methods let's say for you to onboard customer number 1 it takes 30 days and you don't want to pay for those 30 days right so once you have onboarded the customer you have consumed it for next 30 days after that only you are paying it's not you are paying up front so this is how you can build your infrastructure on aws using vcsp platform now once again this cost when it comes to aws cost this cost further can be optimized right there are various ways with the help of which we can optimize this cost so for that uh, we have our aws team that team can tell you various ways with the help of which you know this cost can further be optimized so why i am pressing on this slide more because this is a bread and butter for a partners who wants to sell service provider uh, so who wants to sell backup and dr as a services for them if they want to understand how the cost works this is how the cost works because this is your cost want to uh, build your backup as a service dr as a services templates you can decide on top of it so let's talk about it um, further if before december 31 2020 you are onboarding on to vcsp platform and signing a commit plan a veem rental agreement for one year on different point plans which is which starts with minimum 200 point plan goes with 800 1500 and so on these are the discount levels which other than your margin you get directly from veem right if you sign v vra before december 31 2020 i'll tell you what those 200 points 800 point means in vcsp everything is being calculated in number of points which in my coming slides i'll explain you how it works so just to give you a promotion which is running till december 21 31 2020 these are the extra discounts which you can get right as a partners so without going further ado let me now show you the demo how it works so for a demo purpose so what i did in my presentation i have explained the ec2 instance so i have created an ec2 instance if you see this is an ec2 instance with uh very minimal resources so if you see the resources are uh, 4 gb of ram it's not even 8 gb and 2 vcpu right so if you see this is a windows machine this is an ec2 instance and in this ec2 instance i have installed three components one is veeam backup replication console which includes veeam cloud connect and veeam backup replication second one is veeam service provider console right if you see those both the tools are installed in here and working perfectly let me open this what exactly how does veeam cloud connect looks like i'll just show you how it works how it looks like uh, so once it opens you can see how fast it is so this tool is the tool which creates cloud connect gateway which speaks with the outside world here you you are paying cost to a veeam right so if you see same console like veeam backup or application easy console everything is same as it is which you see in veeam backup replication console if let me open all the tabs so on left hand side uh, partners are already aware of this console but what is there if you see there is one extra tab called cloud connect specific for you guys specific for service providers only so in cloud connect you see there are certain tabs available first one is the cloud gateway cloud gateway is the service or is the component which speaks with the outside world here you define uh, a url which speaks with the outside world and create ssl vpn connectivity here you define your url 
So what I did, uh, my uh, EC2 DNS is published. I have opened it on this port on the AWS itself, and I am communicating it over WAN to different customers. I'll show you. I have created in service provider console. So when it comes to the configuration part, see how easy it is to sell backup as a service on EC2 platforms, specifically on AWS. I have not done any rocket size into it. It's just next, next couple of steps and you are done and your Cloud Connect server is up and running, right? It takes hardly two to three minutes. Now uh, you can create multiple tenants here. So right now I have created only one tenant, but you can create multiple tenants here. You can create quotas here. So if you see the backup storage, I have created one tenant in the backup storage, which has a quota of 10 GB, right? So this is a Veeam Cloud Connect view. The same Veeam Backup Replication Console having Cloud Connect capabilities only designed for service provider guys who wants to sell backup as a service, DR as a service, right? Now, the connectivity part, the free part, which we talked about for the service provider guys, this is your infrastructure. This is your EC2 instance wherein you have hosted your Veeam backup replication server, right? Who is receiving the data from customer environment. Now, how you are going to manage those customers, right? This is your customer number one, which is tenant one, which you can see it here. But how you can see more details about it, you need to come on to Veeam service provider console, right? So as I said, it's a web-based console, right? Uh, wherein you need to install it. Everything is running onto the same EC2 instance. Let me just quickly paste the password. It's very tricky. So as you can see, here you go. This is how it looks like, a free tool with lots of functionality, which overcomes five major challenges for you as a service provider. So if you see on the top, it says Veeam Service Provider Console. If I go on to overview, this is a service provider overview, which gives you a kind of dashboard, which you can give it to your team who's managing that infrastructure, which will give you a dashboard kind of view for different customers. So in my view, I have only one company, uh, which is being, uh, protected by the service provider console. So here you can see I am using a cloud backup, right? Lots of this dashboard again can be customized according to your requirement, whatever you want to see. Uh, then um, let me quickly go on to the discovery part, which is an important part for you. Now for you uh, as a service provider guy, you want to discover the backup, you want to discover the customer infrastructure, right? Uh, once the connectivity, first of all, how the connectivity can be established, right? As I said in the beginning, right? You need to publish this URL, which is Veeam Cloud Connect URL onto uh, the net, right? So for me, it's an EC2 instance. So for me, it is easier to publish it. So using my DNS, I have uh, published it onto the internet. Now, when it comes to discovery, you can see there are certain tabs here, right? Discovered computers, discover backup agent, discover backup servers. Here, guys, note one thing, okay, which is very, very important for you. Veeam does a backup of virtual environment. Veeam does a backup of physical environment. So in physical environment, there are two types of workload. Either it is Windows or Linux workload. So as of today, this service provider console tool only protects Windows workload. But the new version of this service provider console is being uh, released soon, which can does Linux backup also, okay? Automated Linux backup. I'll tell you what I'm saying. So let's first talk about the Windows backup. This is a fresh installation. You come here, you go to discovered computers, Okay, now this, this would be a fresh installation. Now you need to add your customer. You need to establish a connectivity. Come here, download this management tool. Okay, if you click on this download agent, this agent is a master agent file, 
which creates a connectivity at the initial stage for windows environment whether it's a workstation or a physical server or a virtual machine running on windows platform this agent needs to be installed right so you can see this agent is what this is a 12 mb file right you can give this 12 mb file to an end customer you can push it through gpos you can push it through uh, you know uh, one drives or any kind of sharing of drives once this has been uh, given it to an end customer you need to install this in the end customer uh, premise it's just a 12 mb file once this is being installed okay how it looks like i'll show you uh, once the installation is being done this will look like this oops uh, yes so this will look like this which will uh, create a connectivity okay this is how it looks like so here you need to create a connection so what is that connection that connection is nothing it's you need to provide the url of your customer of your tenant so what exactly the tenant is so that tenant is this that tenant is this once you come on to company you need to create a company let me i have already created one company so let's say this is your company number one tenant one so here you can see you can define all those things right so let me just zoom yes so you can see there are lots of details uh, related with that company which you can provide click on next here you are defining a username and password of your tenant one right this username and password can be given to an end customer that end customer will have its own view right now it's a service provider view click on next what do you want to provide as a service are you want to provide uh, backup as a service or do you want to provide dr as a service choose which option you want so ma in in cloud platform i want to provide backup as a service click on next what do you want to uh, means how much repository you want to provide him click on add uh, so here you can name your repository and choose which repository would it be whatever cloud connect repositories you have you can see that repository in here so in my case i have already added one so i have named that repository it's a company one tenant one uh, and it is connected in this repository and the quota is whatever quota you want to put in for that guy also if you want to be a more specific that your vms should only uh you know use this much of quota workstation quota server quota you can go further deep down in detail so once this is done after that the important part billing part you remember with service provider console your five pain points the most important part billing you can create a specific template to uh, specific to different different customers right for example let's say this is your customer number 1 in which uh, which uh, you know uh, uh, currency you want to bill uh, uae okay let's let's choose usd uh, what tax vat gst what kind of discount 10 then click on next what are you giving him you are giving him managed services let's say it's uh, 100 dollar per month how many vms let's say 10 dollar per month how many workstation let's say uh, 5 dollar per month how many server agent let's say 10 dollar per month means this is a customized template you have 10 customers for 10 diff customers you can have different templates you have one customer you can have same template you want to globalize everything you can do it means this will give you lots of functionality again if you are backing up a file share which is a nas filer you can define your parameters here how this can be built because this will help you in invoicing also this is your cloud connect backup which we were discussing right how much you want to backup this is your dr as a service wherein how many vms you are replicating you can define your cost here right and once you are done there would be one you know one 
template one plan which would be created and that plan can be used for this customer right so see you can have multiple subscription plans related with here i just clicked on cancel that's why you are not able to see it click on next how many concurrent tasks that's it once you say one one task will be processed at one time click on next that's it finish once you click on finish you can see there is one company with the tenant details has been created here you can have multiple companies associated here multiple companies means multiple customers and for each customers you can have their own tools you can give them their own views right so once this is done after that you need to discover the agent uh, as i said once the agent is being downloaded installed configured it will show you here in the discovered computer it will tell you online so i have installed one agent on my laptop and here you can see uh, uh, the the status of this uh, agent once this master agent has been installed after that you need to install the tenant agents right so once the master agent has been installed it will show you here so click on this choose this click on install backup agent install backup agent will install the full fledged microsoft uh, veeam microsoft agent onto that target once this is done you can see it here in discovered backup agent and here you can define the backup policies again you get the complete you know uh, complete management on your hand here you can see you get lots of options wherein you can manage the agent from here you can set locations you can patch your agent you can reboot your computer you can install cbt driver if bss are not working in that server right also you get two options activation switch to managed mode switch to unmanaged mode managed mode means customer cannot edit anything in the agent configuration file everything has to be taken care by you or if let's say you are telling customer to manage everything switch it to unmanaged mode customer can configure backup file backup jobs etc etc right so see how many options you get uh, to manage customer infrastructure from this service provider console and again it's all free of cost you are not paying even a single dollar to anybody now uh, the last part the backup jobs so in veeam it is very easy to configure backup jobs so with service provider console we create backup policies those policies can be uh specific to one company or can be customized to multiple companies right so here if you see um, there are certain policies which are created by default you see there are two policies which is with a server or workstation i have created one customized policy right let me show you what exactly it is how it looks like this is what custom workstation i want to take a backup of a c drive in that c drive i have created one folder test aws and then i want to take a backup here let me show you by creating a new policy here so let's say if you click on create new you can have multiple backup policies click on public okay you can create private policies also let's say test whatever the name you want to give what you want to backup let's say workstation or server so in workstation what do you want to do entire computer volume level backup file level backup depends on your choice what you want to do uh, destination where do you want to backup you are a service provider you can use shared folder veeam backup repository or veeam cloud connect repository so let's choose veeam cloud connect repository because it's cloud connect infrastructure uh, what would be the retention for how many days you want to keep the data let's say your sla is for 30 days to 30 days uh then what kind of quota you want to put in put a quota here let's say 10 gb it can be tb it can be whatever it is so you are in full control of your services what you are giving it to an end customer you have the full control then backup cache if you want to enable it schedule you want to enable the schedule for that guy click on schedule that's it once you click on next this policy will be created so another policy will be created here in this in this um, repository which would be uh, uh, 
combination and group of multiple different different backup policies once the backup policy is being assigned you can see the policies would be here once the backup policy is assigned if any schedule you have defined with that schedule it can work for one backup job i have defined four different backup policy for one backup job so see how granular this tool is so for example this i want to only choose one policy manually i can run a job if i want see so this is my custom workstation policy if you see in custom workstation policy i can click on start once I click on start the backup policy is being triggered okay and in the backup jobs you can see one out of four jobs are running it means you click on to it you can see there is one job which is running right now you can also see this job from your veeam cloud connect come to your veeam cloud connect click on cloud connect and you can see something will run see in the running the same console tenant one is connected and you can see the data going in and going out this is how you can monitor also using veeam cloud connect so this tool is being synchronized with veeam service provider console so once the data is being backed up the job has successfully done it will come here in the protected data and using veeam explorer the normal way you do it in veeam backup replication you can do it here also here is it will tell you how many number of jobs how many restore points everything you can do it the same traditional way you are doing it in veeam backup replication console right so see guys how easy this tool is how uh, quickly you can configure multiple tenants here right uh, without any cost now let's talk about cost okay so we we have seen the demo in demo we have seen uh, how to create multiple tenants how to create billing templates etc etc now the next part is um, uh, is uh, your uh, licensing part right which is most important part so about this yeah okay so licensing how the licensing works you remember in my bundle i have shown you 10.67 dollar for veeam so in vcsp licensing it is very easy there are two types of plans uh, one is no commitment plan which is as per your consumption wherein you are not committing anything to us what you are saying if you have any consumption you will pay it to us if you don't have any consumption you will not pay it to us we will not charge you any single dollar right so it's like free means you have created your infrastructure you have onboarded uh, you have uh, created your veeam infrastructure veeam cloud service provider infrastructure if let's say it takes time to onboard your first customer let's say it takes 30 days 40 days 50 days we are not going to charge you even a single dollar for those 40 50 days once it has come on boarded the backup job had started triggering you are utilizing those licenses then only the charge will run right so it's no commitment not even a single dollar second one is rental agreement volume rental agreement okay in volume rental agreement you are committing certain points to veeam right the minimum commit point is 200 point wherein you will tell veeam and to us that minimum for one month you will commit 200 points and whether you consume it or not minimum 200 point bill will come to you every month right now you will ask what what is the difference between both of them there is a huge difference right when i say huge difference in commitment plan there are some discount levels which are being given whereas in no commitment plan there are no discounts means compared to rental agreement the discount level is less on no commitment plan okay how will it come i'll explain you in my next slide in vcsp if you are aware of the veeam product portfolio right veeam does veeam backup replication veeam has physical agents for windows for linux veeam have veeam does oracle backup 
okay veeam has availability orchestrator microsoft backup for office 365 lots of products are there all those product in veeam on vcsp platform is being associated with some points value okay every product has one point okay what are those points now let's talk about those points in this slide on the left hand side if you see these are the points which are there on the left hand side if you are using veeam backup and replication enterprise plus version okay and you want to backup one virtual machine so in vcsp platform you are consuming 11 points okay 11 points has an cost associated with your plan as per your choice whether it is no commit plan 200 800 1500 point plan depends on you as you can see to back up one physical server you are again consuming 11 points if you want to back up one workstation you are consuming four points if you want to back up 250 gb of nas data production data you are consuming 10 points in enterprise plus version so you being a service provider i would always recommend each and every service provider to use enterprise plus version because enterprise plus version has all the features so your customer you you are encountering with different different types of customers customer number 1 may have different type of infrastructure customer number 2 may have different type of infrastructure and in enterprise plus you get all the features like backup from storage snapshot like van acceleration role based access management so there may be chance you can utilize those features so if you are using enterprise plus as a base infrastructure you are getting all the functionalities so you are suited in each and every customer environment because with veeam what happens veeam releases lots of new features every then and now so there are you know every quarter i would say veeam releases uh, cloud native features you know the s3 integrations uh, the azure integrations you know uh, then the agentless uh, backups some different type of recovery engine faster recovery engines so if you are using enterprise plus as a base you are getting all those features you never know when you can use those features on your customer environment right uh, this is about your veeam backup replication on the left hand side which is associated with number of points then on the right hand side you can see veeam cloud connect infrastructure veeam cloud connect which receives the data so if you are only selling backup as a service not dr as a service then you are getting these number of points so if you want to back up one server it's seven if you want to back up one virtual machine it's five if you want to back up one workstation it's three these are the number of points again for a microsoft office 365 it's 1.5 user per month 1.5 point right now it depends on your uh, plan which one you are going to choose your cost will be defined accordingly so in my aws bundle i have chosen no commit wherein the cost is on the higher side as i said this can be further optimized another excellent tool created by veeam called vcsp pulse only only available for the service provider guys not for the normal resellers vcsp pulse uh, is an online platform provided by veeam wherein you as a service provider will see your entire license consumption wherein you will see your uh, contract with veeam right so it's a collaboration platform uh, veeam uses different different tools you can see your usage reporting you can create different leads in there you can have multiple things in there in the vcsp platform very important thing very nice thing very amazing thing uh introduced by veeam in the vcsp platform is the license key management you can create license files from your master license files guys just imagine you have the access of creating a license file mean if you have another customer uh, who says uh, you know i want to manage my everything from my infrastructure you just give me the license file there also you can provide these type of files you can generate it from your portal get it billed monthly to us 
and your customer can utilize those features a very nice tool works very well so this feature is being useful in many scenarios whenever you come on board to it then you can you know consult with me how you can utilize these features very nice feature you can also see the usage reporting per license key per tenant key month to month tracking you get your dashboards everything is being specific to you only right you as a service provider so vcsp pulse uh, is only available for uh, for the service provider partners how to log in into this if you are a uh, valid service provider you have a valid contract with veeam you need to go to pro partner uh, which is the pro partner portal of veeam slash vcsp pulse if you have an access to it click on login once you click on login you can see all the features whatever we have discussed so guys this brings an end to my session uh, so i hope this session would be useful for you how you can use vcsp services on aws platform with no upfront cost everything is pay as you go pay as you consume uh, there are multiple ways you can configure your vcsp infrastructure here the point is to tell you how easy and flexible it is with veeam to sell cloud services for enterprises right so let me see if i have any questions with me uh, let me just remove sharing so thank you so much guys thank you so much for your time uh, hope the session was successful and be in touch to have this thing going on thank you so much good day